of Christ the King, will you claim these gifted people as those called by God to help carry out our congregation's ministry to children, youth, and families? Will you support them and enthusiastically celebrate the work they do? If so, respond, we will and we ask God to help us. Will you pray for these leaders and the young people they serve, celebrating our children and youth So respond, we will and we ask God to help us. Let us pray. Gracious God, for Jesus' sake, empower these ministers to care for the young ones in our family of faith. Help them to teach faithfully, lead patiently, and guide confidently. Stir up in these servants the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Almighty God has given you the gift and the will to do these things, graciously give you the strength and compassion to perform them. Amen. On behalf of Christ the King, you are now commissioned for this ministry. We are grateful for your gifts and your willingness to support. Let's enthusiastically say we 
So he told them this parable. Which of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? When she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found that I have lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated, and I invite our kids forward to make a little noise. today. Happy first day of Sunday school. What day is it today? <laughs> now, I have a question for you. How many of you have a collection of something? A collection. Yeah? How many? What is it? What is it of? Buttons? Buttons? What do you have? Legos. A lot of them. Yeah. What do you have? Legos. Do you have a collection of something? Legos. What else? Legos. Legos. Oh, I should have brought my Legos. What else? Barbies. What else? Very cool, very cool. Okay, so collection is a group of something that you collect over time. And how many of you would say those things mean mean a lot to you? They mean something to you? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you my special collection, and you've already seen them before. But ever since I was a really, really little kid, 
I started collecting puppets. And it was mostly because my mom was a preschool teacher, and she gave me her puppets. So I'm going to show you some of my special puppets, my special collection. Okay. All right. And you've seen these before. So let's see. Okay. Uh, this cow is pretty meaningful to me. Let's see. What else can I call this? This whale. I used this last year. What is this? Oh, that hippopotamus crab. I want to show you my very favorite puppet of all time. This is my first puppet I've ever got. Okay, and I'm going to look for it. It's a sheep, so i got to find it. Hmm. I don't see it anywhere. I don't see it anywhere. I don't see it anywhere. Okay, does anyone have a sheep? Is it out there? Is it out there? Okay. Um, do you see it? Do you think it? Do you think it's in here? It's found. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. You helped me find it. Okay. So, does this sheep, my friends, look like special to you? Would it be special to you? No, no because it's kind of a little dirty and it's not very cute. It's kind of small. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. And do you think my feelings would be hurt if I lost my sheep? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I want you to think about our gospel lesson today. And can I have you all put your puppets right here? Sit by, right, sitting by you. And thank you for listening. Okay. Now, my friends. I might have gone a little bit overboard with being concerned about losing my stuffed sheep, but did you know that that's how God feels about us? There are millions of people in the world, more than we can ever understand, yet God cares about us as an individual, and he knows how many hairs there are on your head. He made you. He made he made all of you. And he, so that parable of the lost sheep, do you remember that we talked about it in Vacation Bible School? Yeah. And we talked about the coins that were all over the room, and we couldn't find one coin. Okay? So we're going to bring it back to the gospel today. And what, what they're saying in the Bible is they're saying that that one thing that you're lost if we find it, we rejoice. It's like someone who might be lost, and then they find God. Okay? And so we rejoice. And we say, yay! Yay! Okay, now we have a lot of puppets. Would it matter to really lose the sheep? Yeah, it actually matters to me. Because all of them mean a lot to me. And that's what God feels about all of you, is that, he, uh, that, that you mean to him, okay? Nothing we can do will separate us from God's love, and he always is waiting with open arms to welcome us into his family. Okay. Can I have you bow your heads and pray with me? Dear God, for making us special. Help us remember to love one another. Just as you love each one of us. Thank you for your love. In his name, amen. Will you put the puppets back into the suitcase?
We have a lot of them. We, we have a whole bunch in our, our parking lot and in King Park. Some that have been cut and are still sending forth light. You know, it doesn't look like a tree, but some really nice bushes have formed. God would like us to look like the mighty cedars of Lebanon. We are created in the image of God, mighty trees, but instead we look a little bit more like bushes. The potter wants to shape us into vessels that reflect our creator, and we resist, we grumble, we build our own cisterns. And so God shapes us into something else that bears that twofold nature of mighty roots of a mighty tree. And then that the bushes kind of look. That saint and sinner, that broken and repaired, all wrapped into one. We know. what God throws a party for. The joy of being found, God finds us, searches for us. The joy of our repentance brings God delight. We, the joy we have that God knows us, really knows us, and how stupid we can be, and still works with us, and isn't that good news? There is So will we repent? Will we take another look at what God is doing in our lives? Will we be like the shepherd, the leader, who leaves the 99, crazy, and searches for that one lost of the flock? Will we search hard and long for the one that is missing from the flock? Or will we depend on the 99? Will we be like that woman who searches, turns the house over, lights the lamp to look for the lost coin, rather than be satisfied with the nine that she already has and be truly back? Jesus said, discipleship is about counting the cost. He is training his disciples for Jerusalem and what will happen to him there. This is about Jesus' life, death, and life. God has 
how parables invite us to wonder. And some have wondered about how the parties were tasted. Have you ever thought about that? Do you know what some have offered? Well, it was the sheep that was brought back. And it was the coin that was found that were ultimately sacrificed and given so that the party could have them. Think about that in light of today's story. And then think the third parable of this chapter about a father and two sons. Because Jesus has a message of repentance for tax collectors and sinners and Pharisees and scribes and those who want to listen to Jesus and eat with him those who want to grumble. What is lost and needs our searching for in this community of faith? What is lost and needs our searching, our looking again, so that we can see hope in the midst of our trauma? Find that amazing grace. That amazing in being found and welcomed and restored to new life. This is God's work and we have a
generations. Above all, we give you thanks for Jesus, born of Mary, who in word and deed announced your gentle rule of justice, reconciliation, and peace. On the night of his betrayal, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering his command to love one another, his life and death, his resurrection and his ascension, we pray for his coming again, even as we cry.
refuse to live in 